It is time for another theme park coasting top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at Luna Park Sydney. Starting off at number 10 we have Cloud9 and before you ask this is not themed towards the Netflix TV show unfortunately but a hot air balloon trip. Once boarded, the ride machine will start rotating and start tilting to the side until you are heading 5 meters into the air on one of the 8 hot air balloons. If I'm not selling it to you, let, let me let you know that while it is spinning at 7 rotations per minute, you can also choose how much your balloon will spin by using a wheel in the middle. So you may come off going, wow! That was fun, or running straight to the toilets. If Cloud9 was too childish for you, then you would love our number 9 spot full air, as it is the tallest and largest wave swinger in Australia. Since its debut in 2019, the bigger thrill seekers at the park have loved to head through the sky at 23 metres above the sea level. And with the spectacular views of the water as well as the Sydney Harbour, it is definitely a worthy investment. In addition to this, if you do not want to ride alone, there are two people seats which is pretty cool unless your friends see you screaming at the speed of 65km an hour. Get your six bags ready guys as at number 8, Rotor will push you to your limits on this absolutely bonkers flat ride. I think just by looking at it, it is quite self-explanatory. But basically, you step into a capsule and put your back against the wall. From here, you will then spin and spin at 33 revolutions for the 90 seconds duration of the ride. Now, I just apply some quick maths. That means that you will be spinning for more than 49 times, causing your whole body to be held against the wall by the g-forces as the floor disappears. Without a shadow of a doubt this ride is not for a faint of hearted but if you choose to ride brace yourself for the most crazy 90 seconds of your life. For the number 7 on our top 10 list we are going to take a ride on the Luna Park Ferris wheel. Located at the centre of the park Apart from the giant face, this is the first thing that you will notice when looking at the park and therefore causing some long queues near the start of the day. 100% though, this ride on the Ferris wheel is worth it as the spectacular views of such Sydney icons like the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge as well as the park itself are absolutely amazing. So in our opinion, a trip to not only Luna Park, but the whole of Australia is not complete without a ride on Ferris Wheel. All aboard the Tango Express as our number 6 spot, we're going to rock our socks off. Created by SBF Visa, this is a very common flat ride located around the world. And for that reason, we normally try to do the more unique rides at the park first. However, if you choose to ride, get your dancing shoes on as you will be taken around in a circle and into the tunnel section both at wild speeds as well as bouncing up and down along your way. This ride does not just go backwards though, as when it starts to slow down, many think it is coming to a stop. But in fact, you get to do the whole thing again forwards. How cool is that? Top 5 Work, work, and for this position, we have our first roller coaster on the list Boomerang. Opening as part of the park's brand new expansion, this ride definitely does not disappoint and is perfect for the whole family, with it not being too intense but also providing some thrills as well. Elements include a bank turn, airtime hills, as well as a helix, which even though it's not a lot, it is done both forwards and backwards, which is pretty fun. To be honest though with you guys, no matter how much I try to do other rides at the park, this ride just keeps making me come back to Ding Ding. 
If you are scared of heights, skip to number three, as at number four we have Hairraiser. Standing at a whopping 50 meters above sea level, this is the tallest attraction at the park. And with it being a classic drop tower and not a shot tower in my opinion, the slow incline to the top is 10 times more scary. Once you made it to the top though, you can get some great views, but before you can say, oh look, what is that? You'll be plummeting back down at 80 kilometers per hour, so make sure to hold on tight. Here we enter the top three rides at the park and coming in at number three, we have Wild Mouse, one of the oldest rides at the park, but still to this very day, one of the greatest. If I asked you to imagine a retro ride, this is exactly what you would think of. And with the park keeping its retro touch in this modern era, it really is nice. The ride does not disappoint either, especially for its age, with its classic wild mouse turns, drops and airtime hills making it not only great for you, but for all those grandparents out there reliving their childhood memories. Coming in at number two and miles off the number one spot, we have Sledgehammer. For starters, ignore my joke back there as Sledgehammer is actually a very good ride and one which many people prefer watching than riding itself. As unlike your normal gyro swing Sledgehammer, it goes upside down. Yes, you heard me right, goes upside down. And everyone that I know who's been on this, including myself, may have let out a few screams hanging upside down at 30 meters in the air. Comment down below though, would you brave Sledgehammer or would you rather watch it from below? We have made it to the number one spot and for the best ride at Luna Park, we have the Big Dipper. Now, I don't know where to start when talking about this ride, but it is the world's first Intamin single rail coaster and as you race around the track at 72 kilometers an hour via the two launches, you will head round some of the elements that have never been seen before due to it having such a small track. This ride has been the talk across all the theme park enthusiasts around the world lately and I can tell you firsthand that this is one of the best attractions in the world. So if you get an opportunity to ride with its steep twists, inclines, airtime hills and inversions like no other, take it as I promise you there will be no regrets. The question is though, is it better than an RMC single rail? That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously you all have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you enjoyed the video at the top we have got two videos that we know you will love and at the bottom there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button but with all that said there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasters and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.